muted. Welcome to the Solution Spotlight, where we will be discussing share base for the commercial industry today. And a couple of of housekeeping items. We are recording this webinar, so all lines are muted. And if, if you have any questions for us today, please submit them through the chat box through the GoToWebinar. And then we will also follow up the webinar with a survey when you exit. My name is Pauline Carnes. I am the ShareBase Sales Consultant here at Highland. And with me on the line is Guy, the Manager of Sales Engineers as well. And so through today's webinar, I wanted to explore ShareBase. What is it and how you can gain value from it, as well as what does it look like as a software in a demo perspective? And so today, content management and content creation have really come together to provide the users with tools to easily collaborate as well as store content. But while these tools work well for individuals or small groups, how do they actually fit into the corporate landscape? There are many competitive products out there for sharing and collaborating on content, but they may not leverage your current investment. And I'm speaking about your on-base investment. ShareBase provides best of both worlds. It will not only leverage your current on-base investment by enhancing your automated processes with secure and external sharing, but at the same time, it'll provide your organization with internal collaboration and controlled remote access to your content. AIM research shows that 58% of organizations would actually prefer a collaboration tool that was either an extension or an integration with the current ECM platform, which of course is fantastic because ShareBase is not only organic to Highland, but it was also created as a product for the enterprise and with our OnBase customers in mind. And before we start with how OnBase and ShareBase work together, I would like to think about how you and your employees are sharing content right now. Are you using any types of the controlled methods, maybe emailing, which we know is not secure, or maybe you're sharing external hard drives and hoping to not lose them, or maybe you allow your employees to use their personal sharing tools, you know, like Google Drive or Dropbox, which is really meant for sharing family pictures rather than, for instance, HR sensitive information. And what about the hard to manage tools? FTP sites, encrypted email and portals are definitely more secure, but oftentimes they require additional assistance from maybe your already overburdened IT team. And so, you know, thinking about your internal information as well that you need to share outside of your organization, including your on-base content. How are you securely sharing your on-base content today? And this brings me to another question for you. Is there a better way to do this? And absolutely, ShareBase by Highland is the way to do this better. It's ShareBase is a cloud-based sharing tool designed specifically for the corporate enterprise use. ShareBase allows your employees to also share information while ensuring that you as the organization retain control and visibility over what's being shared. And so you can share this information both internally and externally. And most importantly, as I mentioned, you can share your on-base content. ShareBase includes the strong security and controls that you've come to know from on-base and it's available from your desktop, web browser, or even your mobile device. With ShareBase, you gain visibility into content sharing across and outside of your organization because the accounts are created at the corporate level from your ShareBase administrator instead of the individuals creating personal sharing accounts, as I mentioned, the Google Drive or Dropbox accounts. And all of that activity is actually tracked at the document level all the way up to folder level, and it includes who is accessing the information or what changes are being made on documents. You also retain control of the business information being shared, and that includes setting sharing periods or recommended expirations and watermark features that are meant to prohibit the recipient from utilizing the documents that were supposed to be viewed only in any malicious way, so thinking about screenshots. 
you also retain control when users change roles or leave your organization, as the administrator can easily transfer the sharing rights from one user to another, as well as revoke rights to ensure that only appropriate users have access to the business content. And ShareBase allows you, to, allows you to empower your users because uh, sharing and determining rights of viewers is simple for your users. And so while sharing, these users can determine who has what rights to, let's say, download or upload or edit, as well as view. And that's, again, both at the folder level all the way down to the document level. And even more, as we've mentioned, they can also set expiration dates, ensuring that the external parties that they're sharing with uh, no longer have access to the critical information than they should. And also, ShareBase is accessible via the web and mobile apps, making sure that the users can securely share content from anywhere at any time. And so as I mentioned, ShareBase allows you to empower your users throughout your entire organization, and it can be used in every department to help streamline the sharing and collaboration of content. And before we move into how OnBase and ShareBase works together, let's talk a little bit about security of ShareBase. With ShareBase, your organization data is going to be hosted not in a public shared cloud, but in the Highland Cloud. It is a privately managed multi-instance cloud purpose-built for securely hosting and managing sensitive and critical corporate information. And the Highland Cloud offers regional data centers all over the world, ensuring that your data is backed up in a separate data center in a case of a disaster. And in addition, your ShareBase data is never commingled with other organizations' data, which means each customer has their own deployment with their own database. And each ShareBase deployment has its own encryption key, and all ShareBase documents are encrypted both in transit and at rest. And so if you are a security guru at your organization, I encourage you to visit our ShareBase.com page to download our security brochure, or you could contact um, your Naviant sales team. So let's talk about ShareBase working together with OnBase. Why is that important? When the sharing tools your employees are using are completely separate from their core system, so in this uh, uh, situation, your OnBase system, this can result in users manually copying documents out out of OnBase and adding them to other locations or manually copying the documents out of these other locations back into OnBase. And so as you can imagine, this results in an explosion of unmanaged copies and versions and it can also increase the likelihood of errors. And ShareBase eliminates these issues by interacting with OnBase. And how does that interaction with ShareBase work? Based on your for business rules, OnBase workflow can trigger events which auto-create a folder in ShareBase and add OnBase documents to that folder. It also generates a ShareBase link and sends a notification to non-OnBase users to view, edit, or upload depending on the rights you have granted. And the OnBase interaction with ShareBase reduces these manual steps and replaces email as the primary method of sharing, providing a secure area in ShareBase to access your OnBase content. When documents are uploaded to ShareBase folders, OnBase can automatically capture them, eliminating reliance on email or the secure FTP sites or even USB drives drives uh, when sharing documents outside of OnBase. These folders and documents can be securely shared with people who do not have access to OnBase by using these ShareBase links, which can be password protected and, as I've mentioned before, even set to expire. And as you can see here, there are currently four OnBase workflow actions available since OnBase 15 Service Pack 3, allowing you to dynamically customize the sharing process to really fit your needs. And so I wanted to now talk about some of the ShareBase use cases and where is their most value um, from these use cases with some of our current ShareBase customers. As I've mentioned, ShareBase enhances automation. And so when it comes to departmental solutions, human resources department is most definitely towards the top of usability of ShareBase and also retrieving 
value, uh, both from the on-base interaction with ShareBase and ShareBase as a standalone. And so prior to deploying ShareBase, an HR department collected their employee applications via website portal, but they still had to manually email the prospect employee for any supporting documentation for the application process. And so as you can imagine, there was a lot of back and forth emails where the HR department how to manually copy the information then back into OnBase. And so by utilizing ShareBase, the application process has been automated even further in that the HR department can request the missing information right from OnBase and send a single upload location back to the candidate to send in the missing information. So for instance, a reference, reference letter or maybe a headshot photo or even a video bio. Um, these email file size limits or corrupted files, they no longer stall the hiring processes. And once the candidate is selected, the offer letter can then be sent through ShareBase and contain even an expiration date um, on the access to that offer letter, especially when you are in a competitive environment where you have multiple candidates for the same position. ShareBase provides a much simpler candidate experience and also enables you for tighter control over the hiring process. From the IT perspective, how we share and what we share is vital to not only the security, but also the compliance of your organization. And so we're all familiar with the benefits of compliance management that include reducing your legal risks, maintaining the data security, and increasing the trust and reputation with not only your employees, but then also your customers. And so here at Highland, we are dedicated to transparency at every level. So we participate in an annual independent external audit of our financial statements. And physically shipping paper files or back in the day, even CDs was very costly and time consuming. And electronic file transfer solutions were equally as time consuming due to the volume of files required. And as you can imagine, connection instability. And all of these methods required individual files to be sent to individual auditors. And so if we had multiple auditors requesting the same files, we were making multiple copies day in and day out. And so since implementing ShareBase for these Highland audits, uh, it has provided us scalability, specifically when multiple personnel needs access to the same information and all the while still excelling in the confidentiality, security, and the ease of use. And we were actually easily um, incorporated the naming convention used by the auditors in order to provide instant recognition of the foldering structure to ensure ease of use by all parties involved. Collaboration across organizations is vitally important internally as it is externally. As an example of a collaboration situation uh, using ShareBase, it's a customer who planned the entire expert event using the ShareBase application. The marketing department set up individual vendor folders to interact with external vendors as well as the presenters. And these people have shared their presentations or videos, booth designs, and any other items necessary for a successful show. And then internally, uh, the different departments and users that needed access to these vendor folders were able to access them. And so for example, a presentation specialist could actually review the presentations that have been sent in to make sure that they're tip top, or maybe the technical people could access these folders to make sure that all technical equipment is provided for the day of the event. And when one person got pulled into a different project, the marketing coordinator quickly was able to revoke that person's rights to all the folders and then also assign the new person or the new project team member into those existing folders while all the while retaining the activity of the original team members. And as the event neared and the marketing team started traveling on site for the setup, they were still able to access the event information right from their mobile device and pull up necessary their floor plans or even the booth designs. And so in the end, the marketing coordinator was thrilled with the simplicity and ease of access and particularly just the centralized location for all of her information. 
And as I spoke of the use cases and where Sharebase fits in similar organizations to yours, I wanted to show you a bit of the software today as well, right? What kind of a webinar would this be if we didn't do a demo? And so in the upcoming scenario, we will visit contract management solution in Onbase with a non-disclosure agreement. I will show you how Sharebase further automates the Onbase business process. So to start off, we will go through the sharing of the documents from OnBase. In my example, I will be utilizing the ad hoc tasks to send the documents, but please keep in mind all throughout that these processes can com be completely automated based on either a specific um, experience, uh, a specific time or even the event in the process. And so since this is a non-disclosure agreement, I will send it as a revisable document so that way the recipient can submit their red lines through Sharebase as well as um, enabling us to keep all of our information organized. I will then fill out the recipient's email or maybe it would pull from an autofill of information you already have stored in OnBase and the document will be delivered to the vendor. And so as you can see here, this is a notification email that went out to the third party vendor uh, in order to download the NDA, but we also provided them a separate location to upload the revision. Depending on how you set up this process, it could actually be only a one share base location where they can both download and upload into. So it's really customizable depending on your needs. You can further customize those needs as well with a password, which is a, an inherent feature of Sharebase. And this would then enable the user to make sure that they are the appropriate people with the access as the password would be sent in a separate email for their access. And so once we get into that Sharebase folder, you can see that there is an NDA document that is then available for both preview and also the download of the document, as you can see in the top right. And this way, we'll be able to provide any of the markups that we wish. The file will open in its native file format, which in this case, we are using Microsoft Word. And as I complete my changes to the document, I then save the file locally that I will be able to bring back into that upload folder. And so at this point, we will go back to our original email that we have received to where we are now able to submit our red lines into that second location uh, of the upload. Sharebase does support drag and drop of documents into the web. And then and we can also preview as well as see the notification that the document has uploaded successfully. And so when we switch back to OnBase from the legal department, you can see that there's now a second revision of the document with the changes that uh, our external vendor has done. And we can even further compare them side by side, opening this back up again in Microsoft Word, where we can further approve or reject the changes to move through our process. And once the document is finalized, we can again utilize these ad hoc tasks or again, based on your business rules, maybe it's another process in your workflow. Once the NDA has been approved, it would automatically send out the document. But in this case, we'll hit the ad hoc task to share the final non-disclosure agreement back with the vendor to complete our process. And so in a way, this was a very quick demo, but in reality, this could be even faster because as I've mentioned, we can completely automate this through the workflow. And so you never really have to hit any of these buttons to enable the tasks. I also wanted to share with you today what Sharebase collaboration looks like within the Sharebase application. Uh, there are a lot of different features enabled in Sharebase, but today I'm only concentrating on the collaborative nature. And so we're very happy to do an entire demo of Sharebase for you as you wish. Feel free to chat us with that request or send an email to Guy. And so looking back at that example that I've mentioned from the marketing department that created the Expo folders, I wanted to revisit that uh, here again. And so you can see in the background that we have uh, a couple of vendor folders created for Hilton Aruba Resort, as well as a food 
vendor for nine second foods and at this point i first want to share uh, the expo show folder with some internal team members and i am able to granularly select the different rights of access for them and as you can see here when we're sharing internally i could actually prohibit my internal team from sharing my information externally maybe i just need them to collaborate on this information internally and then I am the only point of contact for the external vendors. I have the ability to select that. And if for some reason, uh, as the process moves on, I need to revisit to see uh, what kind of rights I have provided my group, I can always uh, look back at the content that is being shared. And furthermore, as I mentioned in the earlier example, if I have a team member leave or maybe a whole team has changed, I can quickly revoke those rights right from the user interface to disable access. In this example, I've provided a welcome letter that I would like the hotel to provide to all of the attendants as they go into check-in for their uh, Aruba resort rooms. Sounds so phenomenal, especially in this cold Cleveland weather. Um, and so I want this welcome letter to be provided, but before I send it out to the external vendor, I want to make sure that all of the information on this letter is correct. And so I can actually edit the document right from ShareBase without actually having to download, make changes, save locally, and re-upload again to the application. And as I click the edit button, the document will open in its native file type that I have pre-selected as a default. And so I said any Word document is a Microsoft document. I can make my changes. So in this case, I'm going to highlight a section that I would like some additional help from one of my other marketing people. And when I make those changes, I'm going to save and exit the document. And when I do that, that will automatically update the document in ShareBase. Then it becomes a new revision as well. And I have access to the old versions of the document where I'm able to promote maybe a previous version to be a current version again. Or maybe I just want to reference the old version for any kind of additional information. I can actually download the old versions without promoting them as well. So we give you a certain flexibility of how you want to maneuver these documents. And we also provide permanent comments. Uh, this is another great feature with the ability to have these collaborations uh, and comments tethered to the document. So here in the comments, you can tag other users. You can see the at mention, and you can also provide uh, a timestamp as you see when the comment has been made. But furthermore, there is an automated email that goes out to that user that has been mentioned, just in case there's any urgency behind this request and they can click on the link to take them directly into that document. All of that activity, whether it's the changes you've made, the downloads, uploads, or even the comments you've provided, is tracked in the uneditable audit trail that you can actually search as well. And so if I needed to see who has edited the document, I can most definitely fill that out and pull up the necessary results, or I could even search by the actual username as well. And Last but not least, I can subscribe to notifications on this document. And so maybe uh, I want to make sure that I receive information that is uh, either the document's been downloaded, edited, or commented. As you can see, I can pick out what exactly it is that I want an internal notification about uh, to help me with the process. And so in recap, the ShareBase solution can really be applied in any scenario where your organization needs include automated sharing, as I've just showed you with OnBase, empowering users and providing them remote access through the mobile, either web browser applications, and of course, retain that corporate control. And it's even more effective, right, when we tie it in with your existing process management and your OnBase solution. So, if you liked what you saw today or you would like some additional information about some of the use cases I've mentioned, we are very happy to provide you additional information and demonstrations and you've got uh, guys contact information right here on your screen. And as I give you a minute to type in your questions in the chat panel, I wanted to make sure that we go over some of the frequently asked questions uh, for ShareBase that include uh, security, right? So. Um, the Highland Cloud is ISO 27001 certified.
certified and we also go through annual audits of SOC 1 and 2 and or 3. So it is, um, that's information that we can provide. And that, as I mentioned before, we also have this information provided for you in the security brochure on our sharebase.com website. Also, another question that we often get is, can you get ShareBase without OnBase? And so, absolutely, ShareBase is an ideal way to securely share important documents, but at the same time, it can also, uh, as I've mentioned, leverage that OnBase workflow uh, through its natural interaction and extending your business processes. And finally, how do you sign up for ShareBase? Uh, absolutely contact your account manager or guy with the information we have provided. And so let me just check out our chat panel just to see if any questions have come in. Helena, I'm going to give one final try here. Can you hear me now? All right. I don't really see anything there right now, but um, you still have a couple of more minutes to submit that. I wanted to um, bring up also some of the upcoming Navient Launch and Learn events that you can look forward to as well as register on the website. And before we part today, um, you will see a poll question on your screen. Let us know if you are ready for the next steps, whether you would like some additional information or maybe you're ready for a demo. Um, please select one of the poll questions you see on your screen and I'll give you about 30 seconds to answer. All right, about 10 more seconds. Okay. The poll is now closed. I thank you very much for participating and for joining me. And again, should you have any additional questions, you may absolutely reach out uh, to Guy for any additional conversations. We will now complete this webinar and thank you for your time today. Bye-bye, everybody.